What's going on everybody? My name is Mike with Actuonics and today we're going to be talking about how to adjust actuator speed. Now we have a huge range of products and a lot of options available for speed, but it still might not be possible to get exactly what you need off the shelf. So we're going to talk about different ways that you can adjust the speed of your actuator to meet your exact requirements. So first off, let's talk about gear ratio. We have many different gear ratio options across our product line. And the best starting point is to select an actuator with a gear ratio that closely aligns with your speed requirements off the shelf. Next up, we recommend using a P-series actuator with an LAC board. An LAC board gives you onboard control of the actuator speed. You can also achieve more fine-tuned adjustments by using our LAC utility, which you can download from our website. Another option for adjusting speed is to use one of our R-series linear servos and adjust the speed from within your transmitter. Now this may or may not be possible depending on your transmitter setup, but many transmitters do have that functionality on board. Another option is to use a PWM signal. Now, using pulse width modulation is effectively reducing the voltage of the actuator, which will affect its performance characteristics while reducing its speed. So that may or may not work for you depending on what you need from your actuator, but it is an option you can consider. Lastly, where practical, you can use a stepper actuator. Now, stepper motors operate in discrete steps and it's possible to adjust the speed of these steps, which gives you control over the speed of the actuator. Now, hopefully this video has helped you better understand your options for controlling and adjusting the speed of your actuator. If you have any further questions, you can always check out our website at actuonics.com or reach out to sales at actuonics.com. If you found this video useful, please consider liking and subscribing and we will see you in the next one.